Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome to the channel, Daily Life Projects. And uh, today's sunny, it's not raining like the last time, that's good. So I thought about planting some vegetables, check out, see how the vegetables are growing. I haven't seen them since that rainy day on the last video. And you guys can go and check it out. <laughs> and I got all the tools ready, bought some, not too many, but just a little bit of vegetable like strawberries and that. I don't think I showed strawberries last time. And it's also cool because my nephews always likes to watch videos on YouTube. So my sister was bugging me, make a video for my kid, <laughs> for your nephew. So we got our tools here just make the hole in the ground just to make it easier so that we can put the strawberries and other vegetables see because they already come with a piece of ground on them okay and um, Sasha is snoring always sleeping okay because she's old shame <laughs> she's recovering well so that's good and uh, we're all happy over that so that's good news so we got ourselves some strawberries, we got ourselves, let's see, some more lettuce, which you cannot see right now, and now you can, there you go. And we got ourselves some beetroot as well, and the strawberries. So we're also going to use some toys, of course, to help us plant all these vegetables, okay, <laughs> and make it a bit more fun. Okay, we'll have to feel like children now and then. So let's get to it. Okay, so here are the strawberries. So we already had these strawberries planted. Okay, and uh, this was planted the same time as other vegetables. So this is about, this was planted when? On last Thursday, five days ago. So they were a bit smaller. Um, and they're all straightened up, so they're all catching up well. they enjoying the ground. They're happy, and they are doing well. So the flowers are going to start now. And then on each flower will come the strawberry. See? These are older ones, actually. That's why they're different. They're a bit shorter than these ones, or taller. And these are St. Andreas. The last ones that we... Plants are St. Andreas, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Those were also St. Andreas. Mm -hmm. But they are older. So, we got our tools. Okay. We'll put that aside. We got a sponge for our knees. Okay. And now we are going to call the help of the toys. <laughs> there you go. And now we just got to open this up. And yes, right. okay, put down push pull. <laughs> and there you go. This will go to recycling. Okay. And now we've got our excavator with a small one. Like a land grinder, like to level the ground, something like that. This is also for agriculture. Okay, it's plants. Help planting potatoes and things like this. It's like a wheat cutter. Yeah, so quite cool. Got these little barrels and we'll just leave that like that. So, let's go.
to plant your vegetables very easy and on its own it will just spread the roots attached to the ground and that's it so let's do the next one There's a hole. Okay, need the excavator. Oh, it already has a hole. Okay. Make sure the hole's done. Yep, all good to go. Strawberry. There we go, pick it up, and in she goes. Spread the ground around, and there you go. Done. How easy is that? Anyone can do it. Okay, now we're gonna have to make some new holes because we don't have any more space, right? Mm -hmm. Nope. So, let's make some holes there, but we need something to cut it with, so we need some scissors. Okay, so, let's make a hole in the net. So this is anti-grass grow net, okay? And it allows the same time for the water to go pass through, so that you can water the plants and keep the ground healthy with water, okay? And nutrients. So let's cut it right here between these and then we have to buy more and plant some more. Okay, so normally I just cut like that. How about this? Tuck it inside. Okay, like that if I want to cover it later, I can cover it. So now, this one can't really do anything can like prick okay <laughs> if we want to use it for the kids to see there you go <laughs> I don't know what the barrels are for maybe they water hey okay and here we go this one can just plow the ground away there you go and now bring on the strawberry please There you go. Okay. So we have to make the hole. Yes. Use our tool, our picker. Just call it a picker. And just put it inside like that. Turn it all around. And we are ready. There you go. Done. Easy. Pick the ground around it. Make it soft. So that when we water, the water can go easy through it. Give it a little squish squash and that's it. Okay, so as you can see, all the strawberries are plotted for now. Okay, all of them are going to start growing these little strawberries. 
comes off to the flower okay and then we'll just keep on seeing the evolution until it goes to our plate <laughs> okay and there's a really a big one right there see so now let's go to the other vegetables and plant still haven't done the rest of the pave pavements okay um because i was waiting for sunny day so this week i'm going to do this pavement here do a bit of more work around there it's going to be cool and start doing the greenhouse you know planning all the structure so we can start putting on the plastic oops almost tripped on the wire there okay now let's see so here the raspberry the raspberries are full of flowers ready okay here you go we even got the paper saw see raspberries and uh yeah they full of flowers already so that's a good sign it's really enjoying being here there you go very good and here you have more flowers different color because it's a uh, blackberry these ones here and uh, we got our tomatoes so we got our tomatoes here they also of course with the sun become a bit flimsy in first but we can already see baby leaves growing here and that's just a good sign here as well so they're all catching up they're enjoying it we got these little letters they're also a bit bigger than they were okay let this one breathe better and uh, our parsley is so good here we got a little baby leaf already that's a good sign this all the parsley and um, lettuce a bit bigger ready okay our eggplants getting bigger so as you can see our lettuce already a bit bigger since the last video and that was only like three days from Sunday that was planted five days ago all this now this tiny letter this one came very flimsy so but it's growing already caught on this one i don't know i don't know. and uh, these ones were a bit weaker the smaller ones but this was a smaller one caught on so if we have to then remove it to put newer ones we'll just ask the tractors for help is this one already it's full of letters <laughs> So, letters are growing. Now let's see here. The watermelons are also doing good. Okay. Yes, watermelon. Got more watermelon here. It's also good. Cabbages, good. Letters. These are still going to take long because they were seeds, so we still have to wait longer for those. The banana tree. How's the banana tree doing? Banana tree. Yes, looking good. The babies are fine after all the rain. The beans are also good. All the beans are good. The melons. And the bell peppers. All also good. The melons. Oh, it's a little bit yellow for maybe catching too much rain but we got to give it some time but it's got little babies growing leaves so that's a good sign I think that it's all good for now no worries and let's plant some more lettuce because we got space here and this is a lettuce that I think that one won't grow. No. So we'll change that one. So let's start. Clean up the ground, clean up the ground. Use a special tool. Just 
słowo, słowo, słowo. Some letters here, and there you go. Use this little one. Round. Okay. Then we gotta make sure every day that the plastic with the wind doesn't cover any vegetable. And now we're gonna to have to clean up this one because this one didn't work. So here we go. So clean. Good. Goes actually down. Okay. Comes in handy. Yep, that one didn't work. Okay. And now get this one here. Okay, clean, clean, clean. Yep, nothing worked there. Okay. So this one didn't go. We'll just put a new lettuce. See? So right down there, you can see it. But it actually makes like an air pocket hole. That's very good. Here we go. How many more? One, two more. Okay. Three. What? More? Where did you get those from? <laughs> okay. And now this one, although it's weak, it's still working, so we'll give him a bit more time, he hasn't given up, but yeah, I don't think this one's going to work, nah, oh no, nah. that one's gone, get the tractor to just clean, 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 see it does work to clean the ground here. Yeah? Take the stick out. Yeah. Now. Oh no! It fell down. Wait. Pick it up, and there you go. <laughs> Get that out the way. Okay. Okay. Did anyone else not give of the letters? Oh, we got already two more holes there. And that's one there. Oop, I don't think it's given up. This one, what do you think? Should we still leave this one? Mm. Maybe. Put some grass here. Clean up the space a bit. Okay. Should we leave that one? That one can still give. Okay, so let's continue. Can plant two, three more here. Okay, so let's get our special tool. Okay, the ground is soft here. Track, bring the letters. Oh, he's got to go all way around. Ah, there you go. Okay, so can use that one but sometimes it just won't fit you see so that's why we got two measurements sometimes the vegetables come with less dirt on them okay and then this one will work perfectly but other times if you need a bigger hole you have the bigger picker and you can go deeper swerve it a bit more and now oh no it's too big <laughs> So now we've got to make it smaller again. So we prick the ground around it. We stump it. Okay. And just make a new hole. And now, 
Let's see if it fits. Yep. There you go. Done. Let's press it down a little bit and let the plant do the rest. We have beetroots. You can plant one, one, and one, these or are? you can put two together. What are these? That one's sweet potato. And sweet potato. I forgot we had sweet potato. We've got one, I bought three. Okay. So where you want to put So now plant? let's find a place for the beetroot. The, the beetroot could be there, no?
Okay, so we could plant it here, right here. In your hole. Okay. And we will put this like this inside and pull it. Go like that so that the roots can stay beneath the air pocket that we did there, okay? And now, we tuck all the roots gently inside. Loosen the sand, okay? Dirt a bit, and we press the same way. Okay, like that the potato can start growing to the bottom. Okay, next. <laughs>
no more in here. It's all empty. Okay, so we got our beetroots that we planted today. Some more lettuce. They were also planted. More beetroots right there. And just to recap it all, and our sweet potatoes. So starting to get less space, and that's a good sign. We can still plant more. So every day we'll be putting um, uh, more updates, okay, on this. See how it evolves and how they start growing. And tomorrow we have to water uh, the vegetables because the ground the soil is still humid today. But tomorrow we'll have to start watering it, okay? So that's it, guys. Let's go check our chicken. Oh, she's eating. And we have to put the pavement here. Start looking for some new friends. For Miss Chicken over here. Hello. You dirtied all your water. <laughs> you can't prick the camera. Go and prick the camera. No, shame. She's very old. She's very kind, friendly. We're gonna get her some friends, pave with cement the part way through here, pave this with cement as well, okay, because this way we're gonna put her water and food and everything, and pave through here as well, and fix up all this house here, make it higher inside for her and her new friends, and put also some new um, food bowls, water bowls, automatic water bowls, Yes, we are going to upgrade the chicken house. We decided to put it here because the space is much bigger. Which is quite a very big space for one chicken. So she needs friends. And then we let her loose. Now the sheep here is moaning a lot. We plant it. This should cut up quite well with the rain. The rain is always ideal to plant trees vegetables and everything because it just helps for the roots to get into the soil always plant when it's rainy okay and not when it's too hot trees don't like it when it's too hot to plant them we also planted this one right here and this is just a branch we're going to see how this goes this is a branch that broke out of a pear tree and we're going to see if this is just going to catch up i don't have a clue it's an experience let's see how it goes she gave birth to him here in the garden. You can see he's still small. And they're very happy. A lot of grass to eat as well. We have to figure out where we're going to plant the banana tree. So that's not an easy one. Uh, doesn't like frost. Okay. That's all the way. It doesn't like frost, so it doesn't like a lot of cold on it. it doesn't like wind, and um, it likes sun, so it needs sun. Uh, water is not a problem because we're gonna have plenty of water. So yeah, we're gonna have to find out a good place to plant this banana tree. It will be interesting because we also got babies. Babies just keep on popping out, so that's cool. And then you can just keep on planting it on its own, it will just spread, you know. So that should be nice. Let's keep the info here. And um, I also want to show you guys this, which is uh, I'm making this fence. So I already welded these two steel tubes, okay, onto the steel bar. I made this with scrap and uh, really got a titan on the wall so yeah i'm gonna show you guys how to do this fencing because i want to do it with like steel plates okay which i'm going to bend the tips so it makes like a, a shield okay it looks like a shield from the outside uh, to copycat the other one that i got in front so that's pretty cool we should see how deep this water is inside here see if it got enough water from the rain uh, we also have to measure that with this rock and this rope. We'll see that as well. We also have bay leaf here. See? Now this started small and now it's big. 
so this is very good because you let this grow okay and then you use the branches you cut the branch a branch out and you use the branch okay when it's thicker and straight branches and you just I'm going to show you guys how to do a, what you call shpatada okay which you just uh, put meat through the branch okay and you put it in the barbecue so that's what this will be cool to show you guys and um, yes let me show you guys how the sheet plates will be looking that I'm going to do here oh, meanwhile we can take a lemon I do need a lemon let's choose a nice yellow lemon like this one right here I need 10 okay you need 10 yeah okay so we're gonna maybe need some scissors this is quite hard this one <laughs> I'm trying to turn, turn 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 oh there you go I just need one you need 10 you're yeah, gonna pick up 10 now <laughs> you'll pick up 10 on the next video <laughs> yeah they are very tasty home lemons okay so this is what i want to do see bend the sheets a bit and it becomes like from outside looks like a you know a shield so i want to copy this so this is what we're going to do at the for the fence on that side i'll show you guys how to do that as well hope you guys like this video uh, gonna keep on uploading more content different content as well got some car content machine project content garden content pavement content decoration the garden team place i got a lot of cool ideas i want to share with you guys and um so if you guys just keep on watching the channel <laughs> it will help us growing like a little seed <laughs> and now we like a little seed so um, thanks guys and uh, see you on the next one.